Hey everyone, this is again teacher Eunice, and we're here to review solving for elapsed time. Now we already know that elapsed or elapsed time means the time that has passed or gone by when doing something. It could also mean the time in between the start and the end times. Now let's go ahead and solve for the elapsed time using the number line. Previously, we used the analog clock uh, as a way to solve for it. If you haven't watched or reviewed that video, you can check that out. Now let's go ahead and use the number line. The first situation is solving for elapsed time in minutes. Carol played basketball with her siblings from 5.30 p.m. to 6 o'clock. 15 p.m. How long were they playing? Now, it's important to know the start time and the end time. Look here closely. When did they start? From 5.30 p.m., that's the start time. We'll mark it yellow. And when did they finish playing? To 6.15, that's right, 6.15 is the end time and we're marking it green. Here it is, start, end. Now the clue is still here, how long were they playing? And we're looking for the time in between 5.30 till 6.15, the time that has passed or the elapsed time. This time, we're gonna use the number line to solve for it. As you can see, there's a line in here. The start is also here, 5.30 p.m. And the end time is also in here, 6.15 p.m. Now, as we solve for the elapsed time, we're going to use jumps um, by fives, all right? So each of the jump we're going to make in the number line is it is equal to five minutes. All right, let's do this. 5.30, five minutes past, 5.35, that's right. And then 5.35, five minutes past, 5.40, correct. Then 5.45, then 5.50, 5.55, Six o'clock, six o five, six ten, and six fifteen. So we made it. Let's just count how many jumps it will make. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jumps. So if we made nine jumps, it will, and each jump is five. Nine times five is. 45, 45 minutes in between. Or you can simply do this. Count it, skip count by using skip counting. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So in between 5.30 till 6.15, the time that has passed is 45 minutes. Now the clue here is, You can make jumps equal to five minutes. So we made nine jumps, five minutes for each jump, 45 minutes. You can also count or using skip counting. Elapsed time, 45 minutes. We're done with the first example. Now let's go ahead and read the second situation. Dad went to buy food and supplies at 6.20 a.m. He arrived home at 9.40 a.m. How long did it take for him to get back? So we're still solving for the elapsed time this time. It's gonna be hours in between start and end. Now first, when did it start? Or when did, la when did dad leave the house? 
6.20 a.m. That's the start time when he went away. And when did he arrive home? 9.40 a.m. That's the end time. As you can see, it's also marked yellow and green. We're still looking for the elapsed time. And that means we're going to check for how long it took him before he can get back home. We're going to use the number line still. So 6.20 till 9.40. This time, we're not going to use five-minute markings, but we're going to use hours. All right? So every time we uh, make a revolution, for example, 6.20, if we move around the clock and reach a 720, that means one hour has passed. So each time I mark here 720, that means one hour has passed. All right, let's try. 620, one hour passed. That is already 720 a.m. Again, an, another hour has passed from 7.20. What do you think is it? 8.20, correct. So, 8.20 a.m. Now, an hour again has passed. That is what? Already. That's already 9.20. Oh no. That is taking so long. So from 6.20, 7.20, 8.20, 9.20, three hours has already passed. But it's still not yet the end time. Now we're gonna count by fives this time. All right, from 9.20 till 9.40. All right, let's start. 9.20 plus 5, 9.25. Plus 5, 9.30. Plus 5, 9.35. Plus 5, 9.40. Okay, so there are five, there are four jumps of five in here. So four jumps, that's five minutes, that's equal to 20 minutes. So all of these three mountains in here, or three big jumps, they are equal to three hours. We counted it earlier. See, one hour, another hour, another hour, three hours till 9.20. So that's the three mountains. And then remaining 20 minutes, we counted earlier, five minutes each. That makes the elapsed time between 6.20 to 9.40 a.m. Three hours and 20 minutes. This is how long Doc Dad took to get the supplies and the food outside. So far, so good. So now we're done with our two situations, solving for the elapsed time in minutes and this one in hours. Let's have a quick recap of what we just did. To solve for the elapsed time, note the beginning of the activity, which is the start time, that's right, and when it has finished or the and time. These are two important things. We can also use two ways to solve for the elapsed time. We can use it or you can solve it using the analog clock and the other by using the number line, which we just did. So that's it. Thank you for joining, joining me in this review. If you still feel something that's not quite right, you can talk to me or you can send me a private message. I'll be able to help you. 
as much as I can. Thank you and see you again. Bye.